Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the very, very new ability to use audio in Canva presentations. So literally when I went to record this video, I was going to show you a workaround for the fact that you couldn't upload audio files in Canva, but in the last 24 hours they've made it available and so we're going to talk about how you're going to work with presentations and audio in Canva. So the first thing you're going to need is a narration file because you can't actually narrate in Canva, but you could get a narration from somewhere else. So what I'm going to suggest is that you go to this online site, which is Online Voice Recorder. It's really very simple. When you're ready to start your narration, and you could obviously have your slideshow on another screen, so you could just be sort of prompting yourself as to what you're going to talk about, or you may have a script that you need to read. And so what you're going to do is press this button here to start recording. Now, if you understand how Canva's going to handle this recording later on, it might help you to prepare just a little bit better. You see, the way that Canva is going to work with your audio is that it, it's only going to allow you one audio track per presentation. So you need an entire audio track for this presentation. So you can't do individuals, say, for on a per slide basis, for example. If you do want to do that on a per slide basis, I'm going to show you at the end how you would do that. It's a little bit different. But assuming that you want a narration, what you'll want to do is to make a pause between slides because it's going to be easier if you want your presentation to line up so that your audio and your slides match up. It's going to be a whole lot easier if you've got a sort of empty space in your recording so that you can pick that up a little bit more easily. So you're going to talk here, so I'm just going to click here. And let's assume that I'm working on the first slide. So I'm talking to the first slide and I'm just about finished. So now I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to talk about the second slide. So it's going to be a whole lot easier for me to pick up this space later on. And here's the talking for the third slide. Now it doesn't matter how much you talk because we can set the timings later on. So you can have a slide with a lot of information on it and a slide with only a little bit of information. And so you would speak your narration. When you're done, you're just going to click here to stop. You can obviously pause if you need to, if you need to take a breath or something like that. So at the end, you're going to get your audio file. Now you can trim it. I know that there was a bit of garbage at the beginning, so I'm going to trim that a little bit closer. If you had some garbage at the end, you can trim that. You can't cut out of the middle, but you can trim from either end. You can also test your audio. To save it, you're just going to click Save and save it to somewhere that you can find it easily later on. I'm going to put mine in my Downloads folder and I'm just calling it Canva MP3 because these are MP3 files. So once you've done that, now you can swing across to Canva. I already have my presentation here, so I need to go and upload my audio. So I'm going into Uploads and I'm going to tap on Audio and now I can add my audio. So I'm going to click on Upload Media, click on Device and now for the first time you'll be able to actually upload MP3s. Once your MP3 is uploaded, you can just drag and drop it, but just note here that you can use one track per design. And so that means that this narration is going to go across the whole of your slideshow. That may not be what you want. I've got a solution for that in a minute. But assuming it is what you want, let's go and see how it's going to work. So this is my audio track. I'm just going to make sure that I've got my speaker turned off, which I have right now. So when you click on your music track here, you're going to see the waveform. Now that's really handy because this is the empty space. You can see where the slides kick in here. So what I want for the first slides is about 8.8 .8 seconds here. So I want to finish it about the middle. So what I'm going to do is just click away here, but I'm going to set the timing for this slide to 8.8. .8. So this slide's going to take up the first 8.8 .8 seconds of the audio track. At this point, you may need a sheet of paper. So you're going to write down your 8.8 .8 seconds. Let's go back to our audio track and let's go and work out where the next space is going to be. Well, we could make a space there at 17.8. So you're going to write down 17.8 and then you're going to subtract the 8.8 .8 from 17.8 because that's going to give you the timing for the next slide. So I tried to find easy values there. Yours might not be quite so easy. 
So the difference between 8.8 .8 and 17.8 .8 is 9 seconds. So let's go to the second slide here and let's go and set its timing to 9 seconds. And then you'll go back and do that for every single one of these slides. So you want to pick up your audio file. You want to work out where your next break is. Here it is. It's at 27. Well, let's call it 27.8. I'm going to subtract from that the end point of the previous slide, which I had at 17.8. And so the difference between those is just going to be 10 seconds. So slide three is going to be 10 seconds. So let's go and pick up the third slide, change the timing to 10 seconds, and then go back and pick up the next one. So you can see the process of timing your presentation. Then of course, once you've finished that, you'll want to go and check it. Now you might find that there might be a little bit of wiggle room there. You might have to adjust slightly, but that's basically how you're going to add a single narration to a slide presentation in Canva. Now, if that does not suit you, this is what I suggest you do. Let's go back to our online voice recorder. There is nothing to stop you doing a single narration for a slide. So you would record the narration for one slide, save it as an MP3 file, call it the slide number, slide one or page one or something like that, and then go back and do it for the next one and the next one and the next one. Because you may not want to have narration for every single slide and that's just fine. This is going to be a simple way of doing it. So you're going to end up with MP3 files for all of those slides that you do want narration on. The problem is that as an MP3, it's an audio file and Canvas rules are you can only have one audio file for a presentation. Well, here's the thing, you can have lots of videos. So if we can turn our audio file into a video file, then we've got a solution. So here is your converter. This is freeconvert.com mp3 to mp4. You're going to click here to choose the files. Now I've had a look at quite a few of these converters and this is one that is particularly quick. So that's why I'm suggesting that you might like to use it. You're going to open your mp3 and you're going to select convert to mp4 because that is the video format. As it's a video, we will be able to use it on a per slide basis in Canva. Let's convert it to mp4. The file will be uploaded, converted, and then you can download it. And honestly, this just takes a few seconds. Okay, so we're ready to download it. I'm going to download it back into my downloads. Now you're going to do that with every single one of your slides. For me, I'm just going to go and duplicate that right now. So I'm going to make a copy of it. So let's assume that they're the video files for two of my slides. Let's go back to Canva. I'm going to just remove this audio track. We've now got videos, so we're going to upload the media, this time as videos. So I've got the Canva copy, so that's going to be one slide. And let's go and get the second one. Now the only trick with this is that these videos don't actually have any visual content on them. So you will need to have your wits about you in terms of uploading them in order. So the first one would be slide one, the second one would be slide two, for example. Let's go and add the first one to page one. Well, let's say if this is the page title, let's actually add it to page two. So I'm just going to click here to add it to page two. Now it's black, it's big, it's fine. We're just going to size it down and then we can just move it out of the way. But it is still black and it's still in the way. Now you could theoretically put it behind the picture, but there's an easier solution still. There's a transparency option up here. Just click on it and just remove the transparency. And then your video can't be seen, but it's easy to select if you want to make edits to it. You can click on it here. It's 42 seconds and there is a crop tool or a trim tool here. So you can click on that. The only difficulty with this is that you don't have a waveform, so you have absolutely no clue where your data is, which is why I think that it's better to do these on a per slide basis if you're going for this solution. So you're not going to cut it into different pieces because it's just going to be too difficult to do. So there is a audio track on one slide. Let's go to another slide. Let's say we're going to put the second track here. We know that second one because it's in order. It seems to have inherited the transparency of the previous one. So we're just going to move it into position. Now let's play our presentation. 
So the default is five seconds for those slides that don't have any audio content on them. For the slides that do have our audio content, well, it's actually video, but we've only used the audio portion of it. Those slides are going to play for as long as they need to play. Of course, if you want to make changes to the default, you're just going to click on the slide and then you can make changes to the timing for that slide. Because this slide doesn't have the video content on it, it's just getting the default timing. So you can change that if you want to. I'm gonna make 2.5 seconds for this one. This one doesn't get a timing selection because it's controlled by the video slash audio content. This one, Okay, so the transparency has come back. Let's just go and adjust that. For this one, the timing on the slide, of course, is controlled by the video file. And if we had another page here, then we can control the timing of that because it doesn't have video slash audio on it. So there are two ways of dealing with narration on slideshows in Canva. As I said, the ability to upload audio is just brand spanking new. And if you want to narrate an entire slideshow, then that is a viable option. If you only want to have certain slides have narration, then I suggest that you break it up and do individual files. If you don't have an easy solution for recording audio, just use the online voice recorder. I think it's an awesome little app. Once you download it as MP3, if you just want to upload it to Canva, you're off and running. If you need it as a video format, then go to the MP3 to MP4 converter at Free Convert, and that way you'll be able to turn an MP3 into an MP4, which is then going to give you the ability to use that as a video inside Canva, and videos are treated differently to audio. I hope that this video has been of help to you. I'm excited about the ability to add audio tracks to Canva. That's a deal breaker as far as I'm concerned. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.